What up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt and a new update for Fortnite has finally arrived and it's actually giving us tilted towers. So today it's my job to go through the whole update in under 5 minutes. But before that, we here at Pro Guides have something awesome coming out and I'm gonna have to turn things over to the incredible pro player Clicks to explain it all. What's up guys, this is Clicks. I'm super excited today to announce the launch of my exclusive two week bootcamp teaching you guys how to master fighting in Fortnite. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and I'm looking forward to meeting all of you guys so I can share my Fortnite knowledge and be your personal motivation to get better. I'm gonna be breaking down concepts I've never shown anyone else before. So there's a tons of new skills you're gonna have by the end of this class that a lot of people don't even know about. During the class, we're gonna practice, train and learn together so that you'll be able to think about and play the game the way I do. Over the next two weeks, we're going to dive deep into everything you need to become great at fighting in Fortnite. Mechanics, my personal fighting techniques, and decision making from years of competitive experience. I can't wait to meet everyone and show you everything I've been working on for this bootcamp. Sign up with a friend, and I'll see you guys soon. With all that said, let's start off with what we always start off with, the map changes. There are so many times where I have to say that there haven't been any changes to the map, and this isn't one of them. Somehow, Tilted Towers return. This is the proper version of Tilted Towers too, not some weird variant like Bony Burbs from last chapter, so you just know it's going to become a majorly hot drop spot going forward. It also looks like the snow has completely been removed from the map, but since I make these videos before the downtime ends, I can't actually confirm or deny that right now. Alongside the melted map, it also seems like Buttercake will be joining the fun, which is literally a giant dinosaur creature that has been sleeping under the snow. That being said, Buttercake's actual in-game name is Clombo, and according to challenges, you'll be able to feed him Clombo berries. It also may be the case that the snow will recede over the course of the next two-week patch cycle, because the in-game lobby screen has a snowy melted tilted. So there still might be a little bit of snow on the map when the servers go back up. Alongside those big tilted and snow changes, there are also nine smaller unnamed POIs on the map. Catus, Desert Mansion, Dirt Track, Fishy Island, Pirate Rowboat, Ranger Tower, Rusty Car Beach, Temple Stairs, and Tiny Timber Tent. So have fun discovering them all. The devoured location is actually just east of Tilted itself if you want to get started. We'll talk about mechanical changes and item additions next. Competitive players might not be too happy, as reinforced walls are now in competitive. They drop in stacks of two and are found as floor loot or in supply drops. Though Hypex does admit that this may change after downtime. We can only hope, am I right? Pizza has been added to the Fortnite island as a new healing consumable. The Slurp Shroom Pizza will restore 40 health and shields per slice. Tags for a new boss have been added to the files, implying that there's going to be a new Thunder Meow boss in the game, though there's no indication on what the boss might actually be yet. It isn't in-game just yet, but according to Hypex on Twitter, Epic are actually working on a tactical sprint mechanic, which when activated, will cause your camera to shake just like when you slide. If you've played Warzone or Battlefield 2042, then you know exactly what to expect from a mechanic like this. Time to go over the leaked skins and cosmetics that have been added to the game this patch. For the skins, we've got Stashed and Miner. For the back blings, there's the Aviary. As far as harvesting tools go, there's the Bleak Beak and Fit Stick. Next up, a single glider, the Caged Swiftwing. Finally, the wraps, League Champ, 8 Kit, and Emperor's Touch. Well, I say finally, the shop image of an encrypted skin has already been uncovered, and it's the arcane variant of Vi, finally joining Jinx in Fortnite. While there haven't been many new skins added to the game this time around, the update has been absolutely massive in terms of new map locations and new mechanics that we can experience on the Fortnite island in competitive. Some of those changes are great, like the addition of Tilted Towers onto the map, while others are a little bit more questionable, like the addition of the armor pieces for walls in competitive. We'll just have to wait to see how they all play out. Enjoy this update breakdown? I do them every update, so make sure you subscribe with the bell on to catch the next one when the next update comes out. I'll see you then.